growing and the second largest population group, representing 16% of the population, or how about this, about one in every six people, according to the census. By 2050, we will be one in every three person will be Latino. Even more staggering is that the Latino population ages 65 and up, listen to this number, will increase by 224% compared to only 65% increase in the average white population. So you can see that our numbers are growing, but not just growing, but we're growing, our numbers are growing from that of an aging population. So we're here today to talk a little bit about those issues that affect the aging Latino, especially those on fixed incomes. And you'll see that the ladies are across this back here are here. They are women on fixed incomes. They live in HUD, a HUD subsidized um, complex, and they had to qualify to get into that complex. So these ladies know all about budgeting their dollars and about making a choice over medicine or groceries sometimes. So that's why they're here today. But um, without further ado, I want to first um, let the senator speak, and then I'd like for all of us to go around the room and introduce ourselves um, to the senator. Okay, well, Janet, thank you for setting this up very, very much. Uh, can we go ahead and have everybody introduce themselves? Absolutely. We'll start right here. 